30 long-term observers from the OSCE, ODIHR, have already left for various regions in the country to monitor the progress of the election campaign. Each mission is working on its own program. Recall that to date, 236 international observers have been accredited for the presidential elections in Kazakhstan, including the CIS observation mission, which consists of 149 people. On April 26th, Election Day, they will control the process of opening the poll stations, the process of voting, counting, and summarizing. Representatives of the Central Election Commission and the observer missions will constantly share information. Just a few days ago already, the members of the Central Election Commission will set off to Aktobe, Chunchinsk, and Taldekorgan. In particular, I will personally visit Taldekorgan. We will not only meet with the heads of regional election commissions, but also with long-term observers. This we have already planned. If there is any violation, criminal liability and administrative liability will be provided. For example, if the observer is not invited to the meetings of the election commission or his rights are violated, there is a minimum fine of 35 minimum calculation index. It is about 69,000 tingi. Also in Astana, the city office of the Republican Commission on Control over the Presidential Election in Kazakhstan started its work. As the representatives of the office announced at the briefing, on the 26th of April, 250 volunteers will monitor the elections in the capital. The commission believes the role of the observer in the electoral process is one of the most important, and they are waiting for volunteers. All volunteers, from students to retirees, will pass serious training. Our commission has been operating since 2005. We have already gained experience and developed methodological literature. There is currently an observer's blog and a guide on how to behave as an observer, what is necessary to know about the work on the polling station, what a voter should know, and how to give information to the voter. Each polling station will have one representative.